Hello friends, today I would like to show you our new preset, the procedural rain generator. Okay, now please switch back to your original voice and start with the instructions. Who is this preset made for? Um, it is for your rain scene, but only for the parts where you need drops on your objects. Where they should climb around or where you need a more realistic behavior on water collisions. Or where you would like to make some creative stuff, maybe combined with other features of our add-on. Like in this example, where we are using the rain generator in zero gravity with our fire water shader and a force field in the middle. What a cool energy-like effect. Okay, so let's start with an empty scene here. If everything has been installed, you should be able to find our Flip Fluids add-on presets here in the Assets folder uh, browser. And if you don't see the Assets browser, you just have to click this little icon here and then you will find the Assets browser here. And there's that new Rain Gen, Rain Generator. I recommend to use all the objects here or let's say the domain box in the inflow. So let's do this into the scene here at the Rain Generator. This is nothing else than a procedural geometry nodes based system. What means if we are going to take a look to geometry nodes, we will find this uh, node network here, what will uh, generate the rain. Okay, that must be inside the domain box, of course, otherwise nothing will be emitted. Okay, great, just for you to know. And all the settings you can do here are collected in a modifier. So while the rain generator is selected, you can use the modifier settings here. Okay, let's switch back to the default layout here and uh, hit the spacebar. So you can see something like, I would say it's it looks like noise, something like noise. And how exactly this is looking like depends on what you are setting up here. So the droplet rate as example defines how many drops you will see here. And of course they are um, appearing randomized here. So when increasing this, that will become more and more and more. Uh, let's do the 5000. Frame rate is recommended to match your uh, frame rate settings. And that's the time scale. Time scale has a different effect than frame rate. And um, yeah. So if you would like to start raining slowly, you can animate this time scale as example. Why not doing this now? So while it is at this position, I hit I key. And in two seconds, it will become more and more rain. Like, yeah, like, like three, press I again. And now in two seconds, we have an increasing, increasing amount, increasing amount of rain here. You can control uh, the minimum and maximum drop scale here. So that defines how big the biggest rain drops will be and how small the smallest drop drops will be. You should know that you need a really high resolution because uh, the higher the resolution, resolution of the simulation was set, uh, the smaller objects can be. Yeah, okay. Uh, before we do this, let me show you another thing and that is the vertical death here. This controls how thick this thing is. Okay, so what is this thing doing? It will uh, generate small inflow objects for the simulator. Uh, something that is also very important is while this is selected, take a look here to the inflow settings, make sure that export animated mesh is enabled. And something you should also do while the domain is selected, take a look to the advanced settings and there's that little window warnings and errors and disable changing topology warning must be enabled. Because we're not doing this, let me disable this. Yes, and uh, when then hit in bake, you will directly have an error that tells you, warning, unable to export animated mesh because uh, number of vertices triangles are changing and that is not allowed in the simulator. So you can enable this thing here to disable this warning and uh, then you will be fine. Another thing we could add now is, uh, you know, let's take Susan from our demonstration file. And then everything has been set up. So this is the way how the range generator is working. Yeah, that's all. And as I told you, we are using a higher resolution here for the simulation part. Otherwise, the simulator would not detect all the single drops here. And that can take a while. 
but it's worth waiting because the effects you can create, they look really, really great. Okay, and that's it from my side. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the fly. And you're lucky with the new procedural leg generator. Goodbye, over and out.